All right, so this is going to be a quick video on people who have a high refresh rate monitor and they find themselves unable to play Resident Evil 4. Um, for some reason, this game does not get along well with high refresh rate monitors, and it'll either start, it'll either sorry, crash instantly upon startup, or you get a white screen and you can only hear the game sounds. This is how to fix that. So, the Steam guide that exists for this issue is simply go to Windows Settings. Advanced display settings and set your refresh rate to 60 hertz. Restart your computer and magically the game will work. It's it's not that easy. It might work for you, but for the majority of us, that's not going to fix the issue. What's going to fix the issue is this. You're going to want to search up DXVK on Google. Um, also, the link for this will be in the description. DXVK releases 65, and you're going to want to download this file. Um, you're going to need WinRAR to extract it, but upon opening up this file, um, simply extract it to your desktop and open that folder. And as you see here, this is what happens when you open the folder. Go to the x32 subfolder, and you'll have these files here. What you're then going to want to do is locate your Steam installation of Resident Evil 4. Once you're in this folder, you're going to want to go to the bin32 subfolder, and you're simply going to want to copy and paste the d3d9.dll, copy and paste that into here, and copy and paste the dxgi.dll uh, file into here as well. Uh, you can then start up the game. Chances are it won't start up. For some, it would. But in case it doesn't, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, your users, it's going to be the name of whatever your computer is. Now keep in mind, this is on, this could be on a separate drive if you run multiple drives like I do. Documents, My Games, Capcom, RE4, and you're going to want to open up this config file. Chances are your native resolution is going to be displayed here already. If it isn't, set it as such. Um, this number sh is probably going to be zero. Set that to 60. This is your frames per second. That could be part of the reason why the game's not starting up for you. Mine was set at zero. Set that to 60. Uh, everything else you're going to want to leave the same except for full screen. You're going to want to set that to zero because for some reason the game's not able to start in full screen. Um, another suggestion I should give you is do not set your anti-aliasing above four because chop scene, uh, cutscenes get incredibly choppy and slowed down. I, I don't know, it's it, it's weird. You'll see what I mean if you, you play it with any higher. Motion blur, you might as well turn that off while you're here because only retards play with motion blur. Save the file, and you see the game starts up in windowed. Now, it can't start in full screen, but you could set it manually to full screen in the game, and it will work. However, there's some issues I should warn you about. The first is that if you set it to full screen, and then set it uh, back to windowed manually, it will crash instantly. If you Alt-Tab at any point while you're full screen in this game or click out of the game window, you will crash instantly. If you examine the treasure item in a game called uh, Bottle Caps, you will crash instantly. However, you can examine these items in windowed mode. So if you want to double check your Bottle Caps, probably start in windowed and then check it that way. Um, another thing that will cause you to crash is if you go to retry or load and you return to main menu. See, it'll say load in and then boom, you're crashed. But the gist of it is the entire game, at least up until the point I'm at, I haven't gone any further. There's no technical issues besides those that are mentioned. And that's how you get the game to work in the current year with a high refresh rate monitor. It is annoying because if you play it full screen, you are going to have to open up this folder every single time and set this to zero and save it before you open it again. But... You know, if you want to play this wonderful game on PC, that's what you're going to have to do with a high refresh rate monitor. Um, anyways, let me know if this helps, and hope everyone has a good day.